दिस इज लेसन नंबर फोर द प्रोडिगल सन अ रिच फार्मर हैड टू सन्स हु वर्क विद हिम ऑन हिज फार्म वन डे द यंगर सन सेड टू हिज फादर वेन यू डाई हाफ ऑफ यू एवरी थिंग यू ओन विल बी माइंड गिव इट टू मी नाउ सो दैट आई कैन गो ऑफ एंड हैव अ गुड टाइम द फादर लवड हिज सन एंड डिड नॉट लाइक टू सी आईदर ऑफ दैम अनहैप्पी सो ही काउंटेड हिज मनी एंड गेव हाफ ऑफ इट टू him his younger son a few days later the son packed his belongings and bags of coal mounting his horse he waved goodbye to his father and brother to set off after traveling for many months he reached a foreign country deciding to stay there for a while he spent some of his gold on a large and splendid house he spent his gold on clothes for himself and so presents for his new friends who seemed to like him he thought that gifts would made them like him even more he invited all his new friends to to his new house for the feast which sometime went all night there was always a lots of good foods music and dancing spending so freely his gold was soon over in less than 2 years he had go to money lenders for more gold soon he had to sell off his house to pay his debts he had no money now here to live he asked his friend to help but they just laughed and called him a fool unhappy and alone he tried to earn money to buy food but there was a drought in the country and had no rain for months so crops were worn by the sun and the people were starving he searched everywhere for work at last a farmer gave him a job for looking after his herd of sheep the only wage the farmer paid him a small plate of food every day Sometimes he was so hungry so that he ate sheep's food to satisfy his hunger. One day when he was lying on the hard ground he thought of his home for his father who lived him he remembered that his father's servant lived in a comfortable house and had the plenty to eat. How many of father's servants have more than they need? They he said to himself while here i am dying of hunger i'll go back to my father and father i am no longer worthy to be called your son let me come home and be treated as one of your servants ah uh, the young man stood up and set off for home i uh, it was a very difficult journey from one he had made 2 years before Although he was dirty, barefoot and ragged, his father recognized him for a long way off. Overjoyed, the old man ran to meet his son. "Father," cried the young man, "please forgive me." The old man threw his arms around his son and kissed him. Then he said, "A servant, fetch my best robe for him, bring shoes for his feet and ring for his finger." To another servant he said, "We must hold a feast to celebrate this great day, for my son was died, uh, is alive again. He was lost and he been found. Invite all my friends and neighbors so that they may share my joy." That evening elder son who had been working in the fields came home he asked a servant why music and song were heard heard from the house when he heard that his father was celebrating his younger brother's return he was very upset he told the servant to ask his father to come out to him his father came out at once and greeted his son joyfully uh, your brother has come home he said come join the feast the elder son replied angrily why should i father i have worked faithfully for you but you have never given me even a young goat so that i could invite my friends for a meal yet i yet at that moment my brother came home after wasting your money and making fool to himself to invite everyone for a feast no i will not come in his father The father felt deeply sorry and he understood why his elder son was bitter and jealous my son he said gently you are always with me and i have always loved you but please try to understand how feel today you are a young you are a good son and i have no reason to fear losing you as i did in the case of my younger son 
he was lost and he has been found i have got a son back and your brother forgave him his foolishness and welcomed him back the elder uh, the elder brother understood the wisdom of his father's word both father and son embarrassed each other and went into the house to rejoice so in this story the story is about uh, the foolishness or whatever uh, the person of this in the famous uh, he is the famous parable taken from the bible this is the uh, short part that has taken from the bible and it teaches something very good